Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy to generate an Excel file in Pega. Pega provides an utility or an API that can help with generating the Excel file. So all we have to do is just invoke that API. So you can see here, this is the activity that is responsible, PX generate Excel file. And this activity, it just holds a single Java step. First, let's check the parameters of this activity. So the activity, it accepts four parameters. The first is the file name. If you are generating an Excel file, definitely you have to use the file name, right? So you can provide a file name. And then Pega also expects a RFB. RFB stands for rule file binary. It means Pega expects a binary rule form, a template binary rule form. So you have to provide a template Excel file that is uploaded into the binary file that will help Pega in generating the Excel file. So all it does is it uses the template and it just populates the right necessary data. And then you also have two Boolean parameters. You can either choose to download the file and after download, you can also choose whether to delete the file. Deleting file. It means Pega must have uploaded the file somewhere and from there we are downloading, right? You will understand more when we look at the Java code. So if you go to the Java code, what it does is it gets the file name and then it also adds a path to the file name. If you check in the clipboard, you will find that pxprocess.px service export path, that field holds a file location path. So this is where Whenever you upload some files, Pega by default, it uses this file location. So what we are doing with this generating Excel file is we use that location, we generate the Excel file and put that file into that location. That is the first step. And then based on our Boolean expression, we can also use another function to download the file from that location. So it is a two step process. And finally, you can also use the Boolean expression to delete the file from the uploaded location. So generating an Excel file is of two steps. One, it generates and upload it into a location. And in second, you can also choose to download the file. Okay, now let's straight away test this activity. As a prerequisite, we need a template Excel file, right? I already created the Excel file. You can see this is the Excel file which I want to generate. This is my requirement. I need to generate the customer details. So I have two columns, customer names and the company name. And then I also have a single value like who generated this Excel file. So this is just a template. You can create whatever Excel type you want, but make sure you follow some standard way of referencing the values. If you see here generated by, then I use a Pega property and then I specify an input. Similarly for a list, I specify the page list property and then the write property which holds the value and then input. So this is like a standard which you should specify into your Excel template. You will get all this info into the history tab of that API. If you check here, you will find that you should be using such template. We did use that. Just save as that Excel file. And as a next step, what you can do is you can upload that Excel file and create a binary file rule in Pega. I already created the binary file rule. So all I have to do is just upload the Excel file. Once that is uploaded, just do a save. Okay, now we have almost everything ready. Let's invoke that activity. For that, I already created a wrapper activity that is just going to call the Pegas out of the box activity, PX generate Excel file. Now we know that this activity, it uses the data and just it populates the Excel file. So we have to generate the data. Data can be generated in multiple ways. For now, I just hard coded the data. You see here, I initialized a page and then into the PX results, I just appended PY label, PY note, and just hard coded the value. This you can do it as your own. And then I also have temp text. I just use Pegas out of the box properties. And then I dynamically passed my username. And then you also see a local file name. Just want to show you that file name can also be dynamically generated. I say customer list generated by and then I use my own name. Make sure you use the right file extension. It is Excel file extension. So after this, what I do is I just call that utility and just make sure to pass the right file name. So what I will do here is I'll pass here the right file name and then you specify the binary rule names PXINS name. 
I already have here. If you go to view XML, there you will find the PX INS name, right? So this is the name which you want to use it. Make sure you copy it and then specify it into the passing parameter value. And I'm also going to download and then delete the file after download. All these are good to me. Now let's straight away test it. Just run this activity, invoke this activity and then click run. It should generate me an Excel. Already I see it is downloaded. You see here, right? Customer list generated by my name dynamically passed. Let me open that Excel to check if all the values are populated correctly. Yes, of course it is populated. You see here, customer name, company name. These are all hot coded from the activity and then generated by. So this is how you can easily generate an Excel file in a Pega application. So all you have to do is have the template Excel ready. Just use the PX generate Excel file activity and provide the necessary data or the input parameter. That is it. See you in the next video.